Every year, the American city of Moab hosts the Easter Jeep Safari Festival, dedicated to off-road vehicles. Obviously, the Jeep team also takes part in it, and this year, they brought seven cars to the event. You can see one of them on your screen. This is the Jeep Bob concept, and it's a Jeep Gladiator Rubicon truck slightly cut down in length. Due to this, the 40-inch wheels are located almost at the corners of the car. Ground clearance was increased by 3 inches, the roof was replaced by a canvas top, and the doors were removed. The engine is a V6 turbo diesel with 183 cubic inches. Unfortunately, this version will not go into production, although we're sure that some people would definitely like to buy this awesome vehicle. Next in line is a creation of the Italian team GFG Style. The idea was to build a powerful sports car with a considerable ground clearance that runs on electric power. The resulting car is called the GFG Style Kangaroo, because, thanks to its active suspension, the car is able to jump from one terrain to another, like a kangaroo. The car features a carbon fiber body, 22-inch wheels and two motors with a total output of about 483 horsepower. Creators claim that it goes from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds. The ground clearance is 5.5, 7.5 or 10.3 inches, depending on the suspension mode. There are three monitors on the dashboard too. The first one is for the general functions of the car, the second is used as a rear-view mirror, and the third is for entertainment and navigation options. A top speed of 37 miles an hour, 28 miles on a single charge, and 89 pounds of weight. We are talking about the Hollyburn P5 scooter. This standing electric vehicle was created by experts from the American company Works Electric. The team highlights some of the most interesting features of their two-wheeled masterpiece. The Magna Shell ST4 chassis weighing only 10 pounds thanks to the use of aircraft-grade aluminium, IP66 protection, which means that you can ride not only in the rain, but also in the snow, and the Z-Stack folding system. When folded, the scooter will fit in all kinds of places both at home and in the office. It takes two and a half hours to charge with a fast charge and about five hours with a regular charger. The price of the scooter is $6,500. Our next stop is Chile. We're going to check out an excursion bus commissioned by a local company. The project was developed by engineers of an Italian company based on a Tatra 8x8 truck which, after all the modifications, is able to accommodate 34 passengers. Such an unusual upgrade was required for a reason. As part of the tour, the bus climbs to 18,700 feet above sea level. During the trip, additional oxygen is supplied in the cabin to reduce the risk of altitude sickness. The bus is fitted with a 460-horsepower Packard turbo diesel engine and an automatic transmission. And for better off-road control, the wheels of the first, second, and fourth axles are used for steering. The tour costs about $70 per person and lasts about five and a half hours. Chevrolet does not sit idly by either. The automobile giant brought their SUV Chevrolet Beast to the SEMA show in Las Vegas. Engineers took a Chevrolet Silverado as a base for this beast, combining a militaristic design with racing components. As a result, it achieved a very impressive performance. The 378 cubic inch Chevrolet Performance LT4 provides about 660 horsepower. The suspension was drastically redesigned, resulting in about 13.6 inches of ground clearance, 12 inches of travel in the front, and 15.5 inches in the rear. The driver and three passengers are seated in Recaro racing seats with four point seat belts. Good news for fans of the famous Atlas ATV. This year, you can order a restyled model that retains all the advantages of the original. The off-road vehicle easily adapts to the customer's goals and tasks, and allows you to move through swampy and snow-covered terrain, as well as on water. Speed on land is 37 miles per hour, and on water it's 4 miles per hour. The payload of the ATV is 3,307 pounds, 
while the vehicle weighs 1,543 pounds more. Its interior can accommodate up to 12 people, and the space can be adapted to install a stretcher. The vehicle is easy to operate. Anyone with driving experience can operate the Atlas ATV without any problems. Leica tracked off-road vehicles are perfect for hunting, fishing, and just blowing off steam, says the manufacturer. The vehicle is manufactured in Russia, and there are several versions. The one you're seeing now is the Leica Tiger. First of all, what caught our eye is the upper part of the ATV. It's made of HDP plastic. The design is very clever. There's even an option of evacuation in case of rollover. The weight of the model is about 4,409 pounds, while the capacity is four people. The vehicle is equipped to drive in mud, snow, and swampy terrain, and is stable on water. The speed is about 37 miles per hour. Opinions in the comments are divided. Many highlight the interesting design, but have doubts about its practicality. What do you think? The motto of the Segway Villain SX-10 is Fear No Place. The manufacturers were given the task of producing a vehicle that could combine comfort in extreme conditions and elegant design. And they have succeeded, creating a model that's perfectly suited for both entertainment and work tasks. The buggy offers a fully adjustable chassis, a rigid chroma leaf frame, and a 105 horsepower engine. Standard equipment includes electric power steering, a winch, LED lighting, a digital dashboard, and ergonomic seats. It also comes with a Segway Power Sports app that can be used to remotely control the buggy and configure various options. The fuel tank has a 12-gallon capacity, and the option to switch between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive modes will come in handy on challenging routes. Another ATV from Russia, the MTLBU model is the most demanded off-road vehicle by companies, according to the manufacturers. The vehicle's ideal for transporting people and goods through snow, swamps, and even water. It's capable of traveling at a speed of 4 miles per hour on water. The payload of the ATV is 9,921 pounds, and it can also tow a trailer up to 14,330 pounds. There are eight seats in the cockpit, 12 in the cabin. At the heart of this vehicle is the 310 horsepower YMZ 238BL1 engine. Interestingly, you can buy the MTLBU in several versions, newly assembled or decommissioned and upgraded on customer's request. The price starts at $75,450. Why not use different off-road technologies to help people with disabilities? The Hexhog ATV was invented in the UK, and the key feature is the 6x6 configuration. Thanks to it, the seat easily climbs slopes, doesn't get stuck in the mud, and even allows you to go through shallow water. After all the modifications, the weight of the vehicle is about 617 pounds, and the top speed is about 9.3 miles per hour. The control is carried out via a programmable joystick. The ATV is powered by an electric motor with a two-hour battery charge time. The cost of the electric chair starts at $30,000. This homemade all-terrain vehicle named Storm has successfully passed various tests. These are some of the components we know about. A Peugeot 116CU inch turbo diesel engine, axles from a Sobol vehicle, and 1500 by 500 low-pressure tires from a front-end loader. The ATV is quite fast on land and water, which apparently pleases commenters a lot. It looks like it's about to go planing, joked one of them. Another creation of British specialists is the six-wheeled flying huntsman truck built on a Land Rover Defender. At the moment, it is offered for sale at about $700,000, but what will the lucky buyer get for this price? Of course, with the additional axle, the vehicle features all-wheel drive. 
and a 378 cubic inch, 430 horsepower LS3 motor was chosen as the heart of the vehicle. It also has a six-speed automatic gearbox. The Flying Huntsman received new bumpers, a front grille and 18-inch wheels. The interior features a custom-made steering wheel, aluminium pedal pads and leather trim. Thanks to the heated front seats, the air conditioning system and the audio system, you'll feel even more comfortable while driving. To end our selection, here is a concept from a Russian 3D artist, submitted on the Behance platform. It's called Cage, and it offers two ways of moving, on tracks or on wheels. The driver and passenger position reminds us of Formula One cars, and the smooth lines resemble those of advanced sports cars. The vehicle is suitable for driving on asphalt and dirt, but you'll have to wear a helmet because there's no windshield. What do you think? For what purposes could this vehicle be used? Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.